Hey YouTube, so here's a uh, a unit in Washington that I'm working on. Um, it's up and running. Uh, when I got it, it came from a uh, it came from an auction from the state of Ohio, um, which was a pretty cool experience. They uh, they do these every other month, and they auction off all kinds of like just surplus stuff from all the different uh, departments within the state like so uh, the, sometimes there's stuff from the prison kitchen sometimes there's uh, light bars off of uh, state patrol cars and uh, this time there was two of these CBs so this is the uh, first of uh, two that I'm trying to fix the other one uh, is going to be a little more difficult so I mean, it may end up parts radio we'll have to see so uh, these things are bone stock except for this cable that they put in there and basically it has this uh, 16 pin uh, it's a Motorola style connector basically it's, it's the same kind of connector you would see like on one of these max track uh, mobile radios something like that so that was at one end um, this plugged into the speaker of the radio it's only one conductor because it's getting its ground through the microphone jack and then it, it had an extra um, red and black wire that were run through the back of the case um, to, to power this and what this what this went to is an interface of Motorola um, uh, I can't think of the name of it offhand but it's, it basically takes the uh, signal from the CB and uh, puts it over a, a pair of telephone lines and will, will allow it to operate through a console on the desk of like a dispatcher so this more likely came from uh, Ohio State Patrol uh, from one of their uh, from one of their posts where they had a dispatcher you know listening to uh, channel 9 um, probably constantly so this 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 way they didn't have to set the radio right there on the desk with the dispatcher they would use the same console they're using for the rest of their uh, state patrol radios or, or whatever however they have it wired but it allows this thing to, to go in a remote location you know, maybe a shack at the base of a tower uh, or something and then run just a, a straight phone line from the interface box um, to whatever they have inside so um, I un unwired that got rid of that and um, there was some power problems I was doing some soldering on the uh, power supply board here um, there's a black wire on the top side that solders in right there comes over here comes up out of this hole and then connects to this terminal strip and this is the same terminal strip where uh, the DC comes from either the outside uh, DC source or from the power supply and it goes through that switch so uh, I got that uh, power wire there fixed um, the ground wire um, I had the whole back uh, half of the radio off so I, uh, I had to clip the wires like I'm soldered back together but you know they're separated there that's the AC but they're not uh, they're not gonna touch each other and I'm, uh, I'm aware that they're there so I'm gonna be careful but I had this whole back off because this uh, on this radio, this was broken. The uh, external speaker uh, connector was broken on this, so this may be one of the reasons why they they surplus this radio. It it, it had problems, so uh, so they got rid of it. So uh, that's fixed. This is out of the other the second radio, so this is you know uh, using some spare parts out of that one. Uh, I had to resolder the connector here for the antenna and put this all back on. So I got that done. Um, so there's no uh, there's no modifications. On the PLL, and um, you see the meter lights out. I've got the wires here. I'm going to convert that to LED. And just looking inside the radio, it's pretty, it's pretty clean. But uh, it's bone stock. No uh, modulation limiter clipped. Uh, no uh, golden screwdriver tune-up. So uh, we'll see what I end up doing with it.